All right, today I'm uh, working on my fuel gauge here. Um, the background behind this is that I have a um, split bus where I've upgraded the fuel tank from, uh, let's see, it's basically, I'm going from what used to be a 10 gallon to a 15 gallon. The 15 gallon one is uh, a bay, window fuel gauge so it has a bay window sender um what i noticed is that this is a split uh fuel gauge and it has the bezel that fits the curved dash bay window has a different dash so you can't really you know unless you were to change out this inner workings you have a split window uh fuel gauge with a bay window sender and what i found is when i completely fill up the tank the 15 gallon it showed about three quarters of a tank, which is super annoying. So I got this thing called Meter Match. It's this is the pen that came with it. Tanks Meter Match. And the Meter Match, what that does, um, basically the sender, you have this thing where you have the amount of ohms where you're full. The way the wiring works is the wire, the, the basically it looks like this. You have a float and the ohms go down up like that when the float is down low there's a longer wire so that means more ohms when it's empty and up top here it's a shorter wire so it means less ohms when it's full so it seems like you have somewhere between four and ten ohms when full four to ten and you have about 80 ohms when it's empty and they use the longer wire so uh, in order to calibrate this, I've been having trouble getting it to be exact, but basically, uh, I'm going to try to do this where at full, it's somewhere between four and 10 ohms empty. It's somewhere around 80 ohms. And so I have my instructions here and I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I have my meter match is under here. Let's see if I can get it out. So under here here's meter match you can see what this thing looks like um, basically I have to take out the take off the cover here and there's a couple of steps that I have to do so I'm going to save this little screw I'll open up meter match here and save my two little caps so the meter match is wired up and uh, it has these buttons and apparently so the first thing I want to do is I want to reset meter match to factory defaults so apparently the way you reset it is you power it off you make sure that your little dial gauge and I'll show you the dial gauge here looks like this um, get some light on this the dial gauge um, you know, it'd be set to zero and then, uh, you have these buttons for up, down and save. So, um, I'm just going to do what it says to do here. So in order to reset it, what we have to do is power it off. We set this to zero. make sure looks like there's an arrow on there so I've had this set wrong the whole time so that's set to zero then what you do is you hold down save and you power it on in order to power it on all I have to do is turn on the ignition Turn on the ignition. And that should have reset it to factory defaults. Okay, let's hope so. Okay. Next, I want to set on set a certain um, 
thing called voltage correction. Voltage correction is when you, you know, newer cars have a uh, solid voltage, 12 volts all the time. This bus, see, since it is a generator, it's kind of like, it seems to be like 11 volts. And then when you're idling, it's like 11.7 or something. And then when you're revving it, it goes up to like 13 or something like that. So I've just noticed some weirdness. So I'm gonna use this voltage correction um, feature. So you do the same thing, powers off, you set it on zero. Then what you do is you hold the up button, which is this one, and then you power it on. So I'm gonna power it on now with the up button. Okay, I'm just going to assume it doesn't really turn on the LED or anything for that. We're going to assume that that went ahead and did it. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this off. Now, it has these table presets. So, basically, you do this number of... Okay, so trying this again. Um... I think what I want to do is full is a number one and it needs two presses to be 10 ohms. Empty is number four and it needs four presses to be 73. So what I do is I turn this on. It's now on. I hold down save until the LED comes on. So for full, I'm going to do that first. I do two presses. One. Two blinks, I let go. Then I need to set this to number one to be the full. And then I hit save. Okay. Now I go back to zero. I'm gonna press and hold save until it is on, and I need four presses. One. Four. And then I need to put that on number four. I hit save. Okay, now I set it back to zero. And that should be good. Now if I look at this, it's on full now, and it has basically a full tank of gas. So, you know, I'm I'm just gonna see um, if that, if that uh, goes down to empty at the correct time, uh, set 73 ohms, if it goes all the way up to 80, it should get to empty early and then go down. That way I'll know, kind of I have some reserve. So anyway, that's this guy, meter match. It seemed very useful, and I've just been having a little trouble getting it to calibrate correctly, but uh, I think that should do it.